Hello and welcome to another Castle Dino tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to key out in Sony Vegas 7 or any version will work. If you have, go on start and open up Vegas. Okay, once that's open, what you need to do, you need to import your green screen footage. So what you need to do is you go on file import and media and find your green screen footage once you've found that it will be processed in the media bin okay drag that onto the timeline and then what you need to do you need to go along and find the place where you want to cut it out and then press S and then delete the second clip by pressing delete on your keyboard that will delete the second clip and you'll be left with the footage you want which is good using the scroller on your mouse you can stretch the timeline out over a certain space how lo however long you want now what you need to do you need to import your green screen backgrounds now these can be bought or made yourself I don't know so go on file import media and just the same process as adding your green screen footage get your green sp green screen background out of your folder so again that should be in the media bin once you've opened it and then once it's in your media bin you need to drag it onto the timeline below your footage you then need to do it uh, trim it in accordance so press S and then again delete the clip that you don't want okay you left with that now what we need to do this is the nice part you need to get rid of the green now what you need to do you'll see there's like a event effects need to click on that on your green screen footage and then you need to click chroma key and add and then you need to click chroma blur and add then you need to press ok and let's uh, untick both of those and then click on the chroma key and now what you need to do, you'll see there's an eyedropper. You'll need to click on that. And then click, uh, find the darkest part on your preview window of green, because not all of it's even shade. So once you've found the darkest part, uh, very marginally, you should use the eyedropper on the preview window and then the color in the box should turn to green now what we need to do now we need to click uh, tick the box again which says chroma key okay and that's the effect you'll get now what we need to do it's not perfect because as you'll see if we play the green screen background behind it you're, you look like a ghost or something which is a good effect if you want to do that but we don't want to look like a ghost so you'll see three toggles there'll be low threshold high threshold and blur amount what you need to do you need to turn the high threshold down which gives which brings the white in and the low threshold brings the black in uh, so you just gotta mess with that until it looks good now to get this to perfection what you need to do you'll see a tool on the preview window uh, that says show mask only and if as see you'll carry on messing around with it high threshold and it won't be perfect so click on show mask only and as you look on the preview window it comes up like that inverted so black and white so what we need to do we need to get the subject as white as possible and the background as black as possible so using the high and low threshold tools again you'll need to bump up the high threshold okay that's all white and you'll need to bump up the low threshold not too much though and okay that's that looks pretty good now what you need to do 
uh, all the edges like look jagged and they don't look professional. So on blur amount, you need to bump that up till it's uh, turn that up till it's quite blurry, as you can see on the preview window. And then untick show mask only, and it's perfect. So all you need to do now is you can get off that event effects window, and as you can see, it plays perfectly. Uh, just scrub through it just to check and now you can go and file and render your project render as and once you've done that I will play it for you hey Castle Dino here and today I'm going to teach you about chroma keying <laughs> 